List of nominees for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame just came out, and among the names making the cut, Pat Benatar, the Dave Matthews Band, Depeche Mode, Whitney Houston, Judas Priest, and the Doobie Brothers. But you don't have to go to Cleveland, Ohio to find rock and roll royalty. We have it right here. The North Carolina Music Hall of Fame is inducting five musicians and performers this week, and today we're joined by one. This is Mitch Easter, a producer, a musician, a songwriter, and you're also from Winston-Salem. That's right. So how does a guy from Winston-Salem end up producing for bands like R.E.M.? Um, music people find each other. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when I was starting my studio, it was around the time they were starting their rock career, and we had mutual friends. And they came into my studio, which was in my parents' garage near wow. Walkertown, and we made, you know, a legendary single. I mean, we did do a single that got attention, and it did help their career. And What I single was that? It was called Radio Free Europe. Oh, okay. And, um, and then, you know, they, they were a really popular band from the get-go with the people. Uh -huh. um, so they got a record contract, and, and then we made LPs, which we made in Charlotte. And those did really well. Those were, like, top Rolling Stone records and stuff wow. at the time. So it was a big explosion of that kind of music. And just by chance, I got to work on those records. So what is it like for you to be honored this way? It's an honor and flattering and a little bit mysterious because there are so many great musicians everywhere. In North Carolina, there seems to be a particularly high proportion. So, you know, I just feel like if anything, maybe I'm um, a randomly chosen representative of my generation of, of rock musicians. Um, because so many of my friends I think of as being drastically more talented than I am. So thanks <laughs> all, to all of you, from, for, you know, for what I picked up. Um, but you know, I've just been in there with a lot of people that do this, so um, I'm, just, I'm just flattered. I well, didn't expect it. I'm sure you're, you're one of those people that people, they, they dream of having a career like yours. So how does somebody get their start? You know, somebody is sitting in their garage right now. You just start, you know. It, the, the path is so different for everybody. I mean, it's always basically just you meet people. And, and how you do that changes from year to year and individually, too. But for me, you know, I played in bands from when I was 12, and then I started the studio, and I just kept doing both those things. And you run into people, and there are opportunities. And that's about it, you know. It's more that than anything. You don't have to go to New York or L.A. now to make it? I don't think you do. I mean, you know, the, the music industry is sort of more mysterious than it used to be, but it's sort of everywhere and nowhere. You know, the regional things are, are true, but so much less so than they used to be. And I went to New York uh, when I was young to be in the scene up there, and it was, it was great. But for me, things happened when I came back down yeah. here, which I just did because it was basically easier, you know. Um, I could afford it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it did coincide with college radio and things that were all over the place. Mm -hmm. And I think it sort of stayed that way. That's sort of been the model. Uh, for, for my career since because my studio is in Forsyth County, but our clientele is from all over, all the, over the, the world. And we've had people from, you know, far across the ocean. So, you know, it's, it's funny about that. So it comes down to names and associations, and you get associated with a couple of cool projects and Bam. people want to find yeah, you, you know. Exactly. Great. Well, congratulations Thank to you. you. And he is going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame on Thursday. Other inductees include hip-hop producer Nine Wonder, Ninth Wonder, excuse me, rapper Big Daddy, Daddy Kane, and bluegrass guitarist, I can't talk, Merle Watson. The Hall of Fame is in Kannapolis, by the way, and it is open to the public. We'll be right back.